Hey right, guys, how's it going? Okay, today we're going to take and play some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies. Today we'll be playing on a map by the name of Zombie Space Station V2 or, or B2. It's, it's, it's one of those. Here we got a door with a little rolly wheel on it. First door we see is 1,500 points. And what we got over here? Oh my, wink. I always forget to switch my controller profile. Okay, so there we go. Jump, crouch. Everything's back to normal except for my cord. He got a giant door for a thousand points. Don't see anything of any real interest in there except for whatever that is in the middle, which might play a role in the final ending of this map. And two, I'm also playing on my 25 inch ultra wide monitor. And unlike the last video, I think I finally got all the audio stuff corrected. So the game shouldn't be absolutely screaming over my voice. What we got? First off, we have the HVK 30. Okay, this door is a thousand. We'll go ahead and hit it up. Let's see what's in the middle here. Uh, Ragnarod DG4. 500 points. We do not have 500 points, but we're definitely going to buy that because that sounds... I know it's not, but it sounds like the old Wonder Waffle. But I love, I love getting into custom zombies and seeing some custom weapons. I, how do I still not have enough? Come on. Okay, that is the gravity spikes. Completely forgot about that. Oh, let me just jump off the map real quick. Well, okay, guys. There's apparently no floor right there, so we're going to have to give that another go. But you know what? It's all good because, you know, now we, we, we know more about the map. We can be a little bit wiser with our money because I'm definitely not going to take him by the gravity spikes right off the bat. But we will take and get some points, save up by the box, and then we will continue on our way. Last guy, he's chilling all the way back there. Ray Gun to see it. You know what? This second start was meant to be. I'm, I'm feeling it now. This attempt, we're going to beat it. So here's the opposite door from the one we opened last time. We'll hit that. Then what we got in this box, we have the rocket shield. Okay, that's kind of what I figured. So like I said, now we can take and actually fall down this. And I'm actually now really curious to see if I can walk across that little thin thing right there, but it's not worth it. I really don't feel like starting this again. So although it's in the name of science, we'll just we'll leave that till next time. And I don't know how I missed this, but apparently flipping pack a punch is just chilling in the middle of this red room. I didn't even see it last time. Okay, so we'll buy our first stair door. Okay, now jugs right here. There's double tap. Okay, we got another hole that falls all the way down to, like, flipping infinity. Dude, okay, now, like, I guess I said, I don't know how to explain this, but the dogs on on PC and then a an, an IPS monitor are just so much more intense than, like, on, on console and then on, like, a, like a, a gaming competition monitor. Oh, my wiener, please. I got a theory here that this thing just runs in a loop. And since this one's already on the side, those are windows, so this door should be openable. Openable. Is that, is that proper English? Okay, openable. Here we go. Thousand points. It's open. But what? Oh, Shiva. No. Well, okay. I thought I bought it for a second. Quite honestly, once we have Jug, we're basically invincible, especially on a map with like a nice wide layout like this. Like I, I really understand now why they took and cut the. Uh, Cut this giant hole in the floor because, I mean, honestly, if it wasn't there, it'd just be too easy to run trains down here. Take a punch, make sure there's nothing. Well, yeah, there is. There's a teddy bear. To escape the UFSO. Unidentified. Okay, I don't even know. To escape, to end the game, you gotta have 54,321 points. That is plenty doable. Is it really the only thing that can make this map better is if it had a kill counter on it? That's the one thing I am really, like, disappointed about with some of the Black Ops 3 custom zombie maps. Is that none of them is putting any kill counters on it. Must be the Peacekeeper. Or maybe not. It's 5,000. Th <gasps> Thunder gun. Dude, I'm happy I kept looking, but I'm still curious about what that one crate is. Because, I mean, the, the one that had the other gun, it was like 10,000 points. But I knew I knew without, out of all these weapons, there was bound to be a thunder gun. So we got trip mine symbol monkeys. Okay, yeah, we pretty much used up all the ammunition in this old thing here. So thunder gun it is. Boom, here we go. We got a thunder gun. We might as well use it. Look, dude, there's just nothing that feels as good as blowing away about 20 of them at the same time. Okay, we definitely need to get a different gun besides the ray gun. 
for points. Hey, you know what? Peace Keeper will do again for now. Okay, hitting it again. What we got? What we got? What we got? BRM, yes. Light machine gun, a lot of bullets. It's a lot of points. No, no, no. No, no. Thunder gun. There we go. That's what it's for. I, I swear I didn't get hit but like five times. And I thought that Jug's supposed to give you like a seven or eight hit down thing, but I guess not. If we hadn't took and bought the thunder gun and stuff, I'd say we could definitely beat this challenge by round 25 without a doubt. But this time, oh my, okay. God dang, there's so many little things that I'm just scared is going to happen. After that first time falling off the map, I'm paranoid. <coughs> oh yeah. Right, we're about halfway there now, so we're not doing too bad. Round 19, we should be able to get to, I'd say, about 3,200. 32,000 points this, this round. We got double my predicted amount of points that round. So like I said, we actually might wind up beating this before round 25 after all. But I still want to take a pack a punch, uh, just the Thunder Gun or something. to see what type, if they done any custom uh, camos or anything on here. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa. Fellers, calm down, please. We'll take that, too. And just like that, round 21, 44,590 points. Oh, 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 yes, once again. Oh, no, don't knock me in the hole. Don't knock me in the hole, please. Okay, just like that, we now have enough to teleport and end the game. Like I said, I want to take a pack a punch, thunder gun, see what type of camo we're dealing with, and then we'll finish out this round and we will leave. So what we got? Okay, that is actually extremely ugly. That looks like diarrhea on a gun. Okay, we'll just try to round us up a big loop of them right here, and we should have enough to leave after <clears throat> one blast. Loop them over, loop them over. Here we go. One. Oh, okay, that was not quite, well, that wasn't quite enough. But now we got this thing, the old death machine. Five, we are about 100 points away from completion. Here it is. Five, four, three, two. Yep, okay, here we go. Let's end it. Look at that game over. You know, it said it said fly away. We we are not flying anywhere. Disappointed. False advertisement. Well, as always, guys, I really appreciate taking time to watch the video. Hope you enjoy. Be sure to take hit that thumbs up if you do like the custom zombies. Leave a comment down below the types of videos you like to see me make. If there's any custom zombie match you want me to play really soon, if you know any new releases, like I said, please let me know because I really enjoy playing these. Also, if you're new, please take time to that subscribe button. A big thank you to all my new subscribers. Just busted through 2,000. Like I said, slow and steady progress. Really appreciate it. So until the next one, guys, adios.